hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to talk about how to how to calibrate calibrate the pressure transducer of the Tonatec jockey pump people are asking of how to calibrate this system so I'm going to demonstrate it on to you mostly you don't see it on the manual okay so I will just demonstrate to you so first and foremost what you have to do is um, you just come to the settings long press the settings it's quite easy okay until it comes to the cutout then the up and down you press simultaneously okay then you see calibrate the low level this is the low level okay so in calibrating of the low level you are going to press enter you're gonna press enter so enter then what you are going to do is you are going to drain all your system but make sure the systems discharge alarm check valve the discharge valve is closed okay so you can set the proper pressure okay so after you have set so like let's say if it's zero you can make it zero if it's one that is showing on the pressure gauge or the other one that you are using to just calibrate to get the weight because mostly in calibration you need to have a source of which you are using okay so what you what you are going to do is in case the electric pumps pressure has difference and by pressure gauge it shows that the electrics pressure electrics the electric controllers pressure is okay with the pressure gauge so it means we have to calibrate the jockey pump <coughs> calibrate the jockey pump against the electric so what we are going to do is we will set as as we've drained the system we will set the pressure up onto the required that is zero or some will be showing one PSI some will be showing two so then after you have set it you can just press enter then after you press forward so this is calibrates the high pressure the high so how do you do this one now this is it so now that you have drained the system you will start the pump you will start the pump the electric pump and pressurize it till the maximum all the valves has been closed you pressurize then you see the maximum pressure of the controller where it stops then you calibrate it against so then so for here if I just pressurize this is what I will be getting so let's say I'm getting 380 or 390 so if it's 390 I will just put um, 390 okay but this has been calibrated already so I will just leave it on the 379 okay so after you are done you can press enter on that also as well now your system's pressure has been uh, the calibration is done already as peso then after you are done you just long press then you switch it on okay now you can see the pressure has gone up onto 600 psi but actually what i want is up to like 290 300 okay it's because I calibrated the zero, the low pressure against the pressure that is in the system, which is like 300. So then, if I would just have to put the high pressure also up to 379, the system is going to just denote it or just going to see it 